It looks like we may have gotten the biggest leak for Nintendo Switch to at least in terms of what everyone wants to know. The name of the platform and when is it going to be revealed. After that, obviously in the little bit past it is when is it coming out and what are the launch games, right? All of that matters, but right now we just want the name of the system and we want to know when they're going to reveal it. And we got a leak today that we're calling a leak due to the history of this going on, but I want to make sure that I emphasize, I started this video by saying we may have, because look, I don't know what this person knows and I don't know what's going to come of it. I only know their history. And I'm very excited about where this is going and what it sets up for the future of Nintendo over the upcoming weeks. And I, man, this is some pretty exciting stuff. And it all began with Dr. Sirkin Toto. He is the CEO of Katen Games, which is a analyst group uh, in Japan, and uh, he's been, you know, to Nintendo's, uh, you know, financial meetings and stuff. He's invested in Nintendo, and he has, in quotes here, Switch 2. And on the surface, you might think this doesn't really mean a whole lot, but what if I were to tell you that he actually has a history of teasing things in this exact way and actually deleting the tweets later before he even, is even proven correct. It's kind of crazy the history he has with this of teasing Nintendo announcements you know, really close to when they happen. So we're going to dive into that and also other reasons that we could think that a Switch 2 reveal is coming up here rather soon and why the quote might actually mean the name of the platform. After I remind you, we're on a road to 140 thousand subscribers. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're enjoying this, you want to see as updated on Switch 2 as possible, all you got to do is subscribe to Nintendo Prime and help us on our journey. All right, so we got to go all the way back to uh, this tweet way back in 2021. Now, I noted he deletes his tweets, so the tweet is deleted. All right, the tweet doesn't exist anymore, but this is evidence of that tweet, and it says Z2 2022, and you can see that he posted this back on June 2nd, 2021. Now, this is notable because uh, we were going to get a Nintendo Direct, right? We were going to get a Nintendo Direct, and during that Direct, which, by the way, happened 13 days after that tweet, they revealed Breath of the Wild 2 was releasing in 2022. Now, we all know it ended up not coming out until 2023, and it was called Tears of the Kingdom. But back in 2021, we didn't have the name for it at that June event, and they did say it was going to release in 2022. So clearly, he was privy to information ahead of time. That is important to note that that was one of the first times that it became very apparent that Dr. Circuntoto was aware of an upcoming Nintendo announcement before it even happened. But that wasn't the only time. If you go on over to this article here over on My Nintendo News, and you'll see ZR2023. This was posted on October 29th, 2023. This is just last year. And a lot of the speculation around this ZR part was Zelda Remake, Zelda Remaster, stuff like that. Uh, that's what a lot of us were thinking, but then he deleted the tweet, and we didn't really know what it meant. Well, it turns out ZR2023 meant Zelda Reveal 2023. And what was revealed? Well, how about The Legend of Zelda live action film? That's right. They revealed nine days after that tweet, The Legend of Zelda live action film. So now we established a history here where Sir Contoto will tweet out some pretty cryptic things. And it actually is teasing an upcoming announcement coming usually at least so far within a couple of weeks, 13 days at the longest. So when we go all the way back to this tweet here about uh, the Switch 2 in quotes, there's a couple things you can infer from this. One, he hasn't responded to anybody. So you go down here, you can look at this. He hasn't responded to anyone. I even reached out to him through DMs. Uh, and again, he didn't say anything in, in response to me either. So he's, very, he's keeping this cryptic. He's not explaining anything, which of course he probably can't if he has privy to information. And so when you see the quote Switch 2, well, that could refer to that Nintendo Switch 2 is actually the name of the platform. This isn't the first time we've heard that it is the name of the platform. Uh, there's another rumor uh, from last month that indicated that Switch 2 was the name of the platform, but we're not really sure on the veracity of that rumor. Well, here's Dr. Circuitoto. You could argue that quote is saying that it's literally called Switch 2. Now, but why would he be even bringing this up? If that's all this quote says is Switch 2, why, what would this indicate? Well, why would he even bring up the name of the platform if it wasn't about to be revealed? soon now we talked about in a video uh two days ago three days ago where uh it 
look, my last stand for 2024 reveal is November 5th. That is when Nintendo has their investors meeting. And if you look at the history of Nintendo's console announcements, they tend to do them before investors meetings. And if you go all the way back to Switch in 2016, it was revealed on October 20th, which was six days before their investors meeting. So it does line up that, hey, if they do care about the investors meeting for an announcement, that that is when they're going to do it sometime in the next couple of weeks. But you throw in the context that he only ever does these cryptic teases close to when things are going to be revealed, and you start to paint a very good picture that we should be expecting stuff. Now, there's other reasons to be expecting a Switch to reveal soon. If you head on over here to Paul Gale, uh, he said, I cannot verify this firsthand, but something huge just came my way. Supposedly, quite recently, a trailer-like commercial was filmed to promote a certain next-generation console. This is indeed the case. I think we're on uh, one to six weeks away, and he put this back on September 10th. One to six weeks away would still put it towards the end of uh, you know, end of October. But here's the thing, you know, obviously Nintendo had this big announcement with Nintendo Alarmo, uh, and he said, this is cool, something I'll check out. And someone asked him, hey, is this uh, not the commercial that you were hearing about? He says, I don't know. It's a possibility that I can't not completely rule out. And again, it's just noting out there that Paul Gale uh, doesn't know 100% for sure if it's the commercial he heard about. But you know who does know? Nate Drake over on uh, over on Family Boards. He put up this, you know, Will, with you being here, was this supposed to trailer you heard about in August? And this is about Alarmo, and he says, based on the contents of the trailer and the details I was sent, assuming it was credible and real info, which he doesn't know yet, no, this was not it. Now, this is tied to Paul Gale Network tangentially because he only started talking about this because of the news going around about Paul Gale knowing about a commercial. Now, he said, once I'm able to verify it as legit and false, I'll share the specifics I was given and allow people the opportunity to understand what I was waiting to see to be shown in the game trailer. And again, he still hasn't said anything. Whatever game trailer he's waiting on still hasn't been released. Uh, and maybe the information he got was completely false. We don't know. But what we do know is that Nintendo Switch 2 is lining up quite nicely to end up being revealed fairly soon. And while we don't know for sure, and I said in my last video on this topic that, hey, if it's not revealed by uh, November 5th, that I'm firmly moving over to Team 2025. There's been other insiders that have said, hey, this thing's getting revealed this entire time. Uh, how about PH Brazil? You guys know we've talked about him a lot on the channel. He has put out there several times that he is like would be flabbergasted, essentially, if it wasn't revealed here in 2024 and that the Nintendo Alarmo announcement doesn't change that he does believe it's being revealed this year. So we're getting obviously pretty late into the year. We are into October. There's only two months left. And I think most of us agree that Nintendo revealing this right smack dab during the big holiday shopping season probably isn't going to happen if it's not a product they're releasing during the holiday shopping season. So this goes all the way back to this, you know, Dr. Circuntoto tweet. And look, he doesn't do this to troll. I think this is the biggest thing because people think he's just kind of messing around and just messing with fans. But in the end, Dr. Circuntoto has never done that before. He's never put up cryptic tweets to do that. Now, this isn't to say Dr. Circuntoto has a 100% track record. He is an industry analyst, the CEO of a company that does a lot of analyst stuff. And he's put a lot of predictions out there that haven't always come true. Pretty much like everyone. You remember Michael Pachter and all the other uh, industry analysts out there. They've all been wrong about a lot of different things. But Dr. Circuntoto isn't making a prediction here. He's cryptically tweeting the way he did with the last two Zelda-related tweets. Uh, like he knows something. And I think the quote part is very specific that this is probably the name of the platform, let alone that it's going to be revealed soon and this will get all confirmed. Um, but you can go down the, the, the comments here. You see Dan Koopman. I, I believe he was a former Nintendo employee uh, out in Europe or the UK or something. He says Switch 4. He's just joking around. Uh, Botox Games is here. Can't argue with that. Um, you know, final name, you know, Switch. Uh, what do you know? <laughs> People just kind of having some fun with it because they're like, hey, what is going on? What is happening? Um, so there's just a lot of uh, conversations. Now, obviously, for me personally, I do think Nintendo Switch 2 would be the best choice of name. I don't think there's any other name Nintendo could go with that really is going to resonate and uh, guarantee a certain level of success or understanding, at least among consumers. In fact, one second. So I talked in the past about how important a name is, and people always go, oh, they can't call it Switch 2. They got to call it something else because that's not Nintendo. Like, well, in my hands right here, this is an iPhone 16 Pro Max. That's what this is. It's brand new. It just arrived. It's replacing my main phone, which uh, broke two months ago. So I'm pretty excited about that. But here's the thing. iPhone 16. That means the last one that came out a year ago was iPhone 15. The one before that, iPhone 14. 
Do you see the pattern here? Numbers are how consumers make like hay in their head that this is a new generation of a current device. That's what Switch 2 is. It is a new generation, the next generation of Nintendo Switch. Putting a 2 with it makes a ton of sense. So, again, I've been on the Switch 2 bandwagon for a while. You guys know it. I know it. I'm just going to see what happens. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because, uh, look, I don't know 100% for sure that this is like some massive real leak. But what I also know is this guy has a history of doing this exact same thing within weeks, within a couple of weeks of something being announced. Something could be announced next week. Something could be announced the week after. I don't know. But this is one of the biggest hints we have gotten to date that a reveal is, dare I say it one more time, imminent. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>